Hello, hello everyone, Dylan here, happy throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Harry Potter review, and today's of which is on Gringotts Bank from 2002. So on the front of the box here, see the Lego logo, that interesting border, recommended ages 7 to 12, set number 4714, and picture of everything there is, the name, and 250 pieces, young Harry in the corner. And flip to the back, see a Lego, just imagine, which their old school slogan. And then Harry Potter, Sorcerer's Stone, which still marked that until the Chamber of Secrets batch came around and dropped it, of course. And also do have a few alternate builds and also advertisement for most of the other sets from the time. And now on to the instruction booklet. On the front of which, same picture as on the front of the box and everything. On the back, how to win on the online survey. Or, uh, sorry, uh, at the PCC ROM game, not yet introduced at this time. And I'll get like four steps for various alternate builds. And then it would be various shots of the set. And the alternate builds again. And the last step. Okay, so now for the four minifigs of which from uh, right to left we get the old style version Hagrid holding both the chrome gold key and also a tile with the sack on it and, and of course this of which a little different than most minifigs from the time and of course kept until the 2010 range of course and then Harry in the middle same as from the uh, uh, 20, oh, 2001 uh, Hogwarts Express set, of course, and for the Green Gots Goblins, of which, as some say, of which kind of creepy with the specific headpiece in it. It's, it's like sculpting for the hair and all. But good thing they kind of fixed it with Grip Hook in uh, the uh, Series 2 uh, minifig series that in 2020, of course. But besides that, their torso print's quite nice for that, which you can definitely use for some custom figs and things and whatnot. And also, no back torso print, but at least they're using the short legs, which were somewhat introduced at this time. But, yeah. Let's see. First of all, for the builds is... Just the basic trolley build, which is holding a pair of tiles in it, like the one trans blue one with some magic sparkles on it, like we've seen in a couple other sets, and also this little uh, one with that is a sack with coins on it, which you get a lot of in this set. Now on to with another build of this set of which is this little mine cart and trap. Which as you can see does which does have some sand green jumpers on it, but it's for oh which is for a couple of for one of the mini things included in this set. And of course you can fit three figs onto it, oh, including Hagrid on the back, and also some more of those tiles. Those and a couple of those small uh, train wheels, of course. Those and onto the uh, front platform of which, which 
does have those large bricks like we've seen on some of the Hogwarts sets from this time and also interesting lantern wheels and also lift this platform up and interesting 2x4 tile with some interesting prints to it of course you can see this track of which kind of similar to like old school uh, 4.5 fold uh, train sets with these uh, piece to it but at least it was an alright return for that and of course the main feature is notice right here as I lift this up and it's supposed to roll off oh if you have this not there well basically I lift this up and rolls right off and goes a quite good distance Next to which is what the track areas lead up to is this little safe. And of course, although the uh, tracks of which can definitely work out as a roller coaster type set representing that in Deathly Hollows, of course. But onto this one, same base brick piece. And of course, mix of gray and tan for that, and also plus rod hole for the key that Hagrid's holding. Of course, and from the back of which, just a regular uh, big ugly rock piece, of course, and a little bat on the top, obviously. And you flip it open and get some of the traditional uh, coin pieces, and then another key to it. Although, uh, if I were like him, I would suggest maybe put some uh, regular gold bricks into it, also and gold bar bricks to it. To of course represent more gold in it. And, yeah. and now on to Gringotts Bank itself. Well, as you can tell, kind of basic and similar as usual to these older sets. And on the longer brick piece, is, and from first glances on top is some stacking pieces, kind of like the earlier Hogwarts sets did. But also this long brick in the middle that says Gringotts, but has a little TM on it. But come on, why part put there? I guess they just had to for safety reasons, even though in the actual world, they wouldn't do so. And of course, the old school owl pieces in black and white. And also the old school rat piece in white, obviously. And same thing on the other side. And as for the little desk inside, and which does have a pair of safes to, or little safes to put things into, and it also can lift it all up. And another one of those, a tile that was on the loading platform of the track, of course. Also, you can kind of display it on its own. And of course, enough space to fit when your goblin mini fits onto it, of course. So, so even though in the movie there is a large, a whole row of it, but although they did kind of, it, but at least they did well improve on the set in the uh, 2011 Diagon Alley set. On to the final verdict on this set. Overall, this I so, anyways, overall, this I think is a pretty good set for its time. Like, of course, get tracks, and of course, it's Gringotts Bank. Only time until the 2011 Diagon Alley set. But also, since rumor has it that there might be a new direct to consumer version connecting to the new version of Diagon Alley. 
well, well, at least this, I can forgive this on how it turned out, and at least you get plenty of good, uh, mocking pieces to it, and despite the kind of creepy goblin molds, of course, but at least until they improved that with the CMF series, of course, and if they ever, and if in that new version, I expect them to be that as, as much as good as the one in the CMF series, obviously. It also would be cool. In LEGO, it would be quite great if there was an actual uh, roller coaster ride set. And, like, and of course, representing that Diagon Alley. And also, hopefully, that one includes the White Dragon, also from Deathly Hollows. Of course. And so now, if you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of this. And for those of you who have been and still have access to get this set, I'd say definitely get it. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.